All right, and welcome back uh, to the third episode now. Uh, Cornifer is still humming over there. Oh, hey, uh, Zoot. Hoy, watch where you're going, you soggy vagabond. I don't want you splashing me. I've had a miserable time trying to keep dry. I am Zote the Mighty, a knight of great renown. If I des decide that I'm going to stay dry, then that's what's going to happen. Curse this wretched city. Water and monsters constantly fall from above. It's no wonder this blasted kingdom fell to ruin. Okay. Nah, Have you seen them? The guards who still patrol this city even after dying? <laughs> Being overly devoted to one's duties is no virtue. Are you sure about that? Uh, still don't have super dash, so this is going to be kind of slow. Unfortunately. Um, just going to clean up the loose ends from the end of the last episode. Basically just... Okay, that last century just... There we go. Hopefully I can uh, avoid the rest of the Lance sentries, which should only be uh, one of them. Oh right, I have a nail upgrade. So it only take three hits, which is fantastic. Much easier to deal with them. Um, might as well get the simple key from over here. Okay. Uh, don't have the dream nail, so I can't uh, deal with the whispering root. I'm just gonna skip it. And now, uh, since I have 3,000 Geo, which is quite substantial, I might as well visit Salubra. Uh, oops. After getting the vessel fragment and opening the stag station. Whoopsie daisy. Alright, uh, Cut that down as well, I guess. Alright, so uh, just gonna open the stack station so I can get back here a little bit quicker. Heal up. And then uh, go back to Crossroads finally. For the first time in quite a while. So we're just gonna go over here. Fantastic. Call down the elevator. 2700 Geo should be enough for a few charms and uh, a few notches, which is uh, more of the goal here since I have quite good charms right now and being able to equip them would be nice. Don't have dive yet, so this is going to be a bit uh, tricky um, dealing with these enemies. Alright. Only takes two hits. Alright, that leaping husk hit me. And that should be, yeah, the first of three. Well, of nine technically, but of the three I need to upgrade my soul capacity. And then we might as well go up here and get this geo node. Free Geo is always nice. Okay. Some of it fell down here. That's alright. And now we'll just go over to Salubra. And get whatever she is offering. Probably going to buy... Well, let's see here. How many charms do I have? Ah, that's probably not going to be enough for two. Probably can only get one charm notch at the moment, but I probably will be able to get a second uh, after buying some additional charms as well. And uh, notably, I will hopefully be able to buy Shaman Stone since it's quite good. Uh, really substantial boost to spell damage, so... Ooh, you surprised me. Hello, hello. Come in, sweetling. Come in and make yourself at home. I'm Salubra, and this is my cozy little charm store. Did the town folk out there tell you to come and visit me? Mmm, yes. 
This is a lovely little village, isn't it? Warm and intimate and full of life. Hmm, what were we talking about? Oh yes, charms. I can see you've started your own collection. Very nice. I'll show you some of my own and you can take one home with you if you like. <laughs> okay, somehow the uh, giggle duplicated. Yes, one. We'll get a charm notch. Fantastic. Uh, how many more? Two. Okay, so uh, shaman stone. Long nail, I guess. Uh, I have a lot of geo, so I might as well get steady body since it's pretty cheap. Seven more. Okay, so I'm not going to purchase these. Uh, unfortunately, I dropped down below the 1800 required to get the lantern which is one of my main goals okay so with only one hmm <laughs> let's see here does that seem like a good idea i don't know see the mug pride can be used to great effect to hit some levers uh, through walls in the current patch so that is kind of handy but I don't know about that forfeiting the uh, extra soul gain seems a bit unwise although with the nail upgrade this is a lot easier than it normally would be uh, did I get the geo node up there yes I did there still are some geo nodes I have left to get in the crossroads uh, and I'll just get uh, Soul Master and Dive and whatnot prior to going to Crystal Peak. You've opened several stag stations now, haven't you? I'm thankful, thankful for the opportunity to once more travel through the kingdom. As I visit more places, I feel my memories returning to me, like the stagways of my mind are running once more. Continue to open the stations and you'll have my deepest gratitude. Uh, city Sore Rooms, that's why we unlocked it first just to get back here quicker and uh, now I guess is the soul master fight which is fantastic uh, is quite easy to just uh, fall down here and skip all the enemies which is quite convenient so we'll just dash all the way back to a uh, corner for which is probably, uh, well, who is probably still there since I haven't really progressed much in the city. Alright, and now we're at the Soul Sanctum. Do not need that uh, little soul vessel canister thing. And there you can see that, yes indeed, you can hit things through the walls. Alright, just barely dodged a uh, fireball cast from the Soul Twister. Double hit is fantastic there. And just kill these mistakes and fight the Soul Warrior. I could take the shortcut that I opened with Mark Pride, but it's kind of inconvenient. Uh, to do so since dropping back down after killing the soul master uh, kind of makes the soul warrior glitch out like if you haven't defeated him prior to actually uh, getting into that room from the top it just makes the AI a bit wonky guess I'll uh, conserve soul to uh, fight okay that was Quite close, hopefully uh, no soul twisted spawn. Alright. And here again you can hit the lever through the wall, but that's not really that much of a time save. It's a bit uh, more efficient, but it's not like as significant as say uh well upcoming here there is a lever, but you must equip both market pride and long nail to hit it through the door. And that's just too costly to do so, so I'm just going to ignore it. Alright. Uh, soul display kind of glitched out visually there for a moment. But it fixed itself. 
Alright, thank you for teleporting. Not a nuisance at all. Okay, so I'm going to just go over here. That should be better. And so you can just hide over here and do this and whatnot. Uh, hopefully, this full picture teleports in my vicinity so I can hit it with the nail or fire a spell. Okay. And now we're on to uh, getting the spell twister charm. Well, first we need to open that up. So here we go. Trigger all the uh, follies to spawn. Fantastic. Oh, some of them didn't aggro. I don't know why I'm not using spells that much. Like, uh, there are like soul canisters, soul vessels. I don't know. I mean, that's already being used for the UI, but there are these uh, little receptacles of soul down here that I probably could have could have used to regenerate some soul after. Killing the follies, but I just didn't do so. Uh, anyways, uh, soul master fight here. Pretty, pretty good. Right. Oops! Almost got hit by that guy there since I was in midair when it landed. Okay. Probably uh, an easy opportunity to deal damage when he's like. I mean, but okay well that was very bad might as well heal even though it's kind of bad okay I uh, don't have enough soul to cast a spell which is unfortunate since it does some of the time uh, deal a double hit while uh, moving across the screen after uh, the four fireball ring thing I don't know what to call it Alright. Fake out thing. Okay. There we go. Phase two. I also probably should buy the lantern at this point since I have enough geo for it. Okay, I didn't do that correctly. But you can like get nail hits off on his body. That was close. Might as well heal since uh, picking up the desolate dive does refill your soul completely, so might as well fire a spell, it doesn't really matter. Just getting the most out of the uh, soul regeneration from picking this up. Didn't really. Yeah, there you go, you can see the uh, soul refilled. Mm hmm, desolate dive, and now we'll move on. Fantastic. Alright, so, we can, there's a mistake over here, we can use a bit of soul here to get a uh, record sender down here, fantastic. Spare thought for those consumed, through their grace we are evolved, no plague of mine shall overcome us now. And then just the uh, 30 odd geo, get some more soul. Full soul, fantastic. This should be 380 geo if I remember correctly. Yep, okay, so now we're back in the thousands. Pretty profitable area, especially upon the first visit. Since, you know, there's all these chests and geo nodes, which are single use, I guess. And uh, thankfully, I still have enough soul to die, because if not, that would be quite embarrassing. Um, I could just leave right now, but there is that grub that I need to save. There's a hollow nest seal. Even more money. Uh, hopefully I can do this correctly. Uh, so you just dash. Ah, uh, that didn't work very well. Um, let's see here. So you press dash three times and it should... Okay, well that's just not going to work. But uh... There is some setup where you can actually 
break that platform without going, or without descending past it. Like while you're standing right on the edge of that platform, still recognizes the dive as being able to break it, but uh, didn't really work out that time, so just gonna take the uh, longer route. Some more follies are probably gonna spawn in. And we'll just loop back. Uh, that was completely useless. And save the grub. And then finally, exit the soul sanctum. There's a bit more soul here, even though it's not necessary at this juncture. There's a mistake here that I almost always got hit by previously. Might as well uh, break those to, well, fully refill my soul. That's pretty efficient. Now we're back here. Uh, might as well refrain from skipping or calling the elevator. Since we can just go around this way. Break that to replenish my soul. And now, uh, hmm. What to do? I guess Crystal Peak would be fine. However, I don't know about Crystal Guardian 1. It's probably fine, but just to be safe. Hmm. <laughs> okay, um. I guess uh, the Royal Waterways would be a nice alternative. Uh, I haven't yet done this combat room, so. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, so yeah, I guess the waterways uh, are the uh, next goal. Oh, that's gonna go up. And yes, I can sell more relics to Lem. Fantastic. Velmi Artrid. Yes, Velmi Artrid. Thank you very much. More sun. A wanderer's yeah. journal. Yes, yes. I'll add it the pile with the others. I don't know when I'll get to decipher this one. It's long hard work translating the many languages of the bugs that explore these Bellamy caverns. Arpet. Then one hollowness suit. More sun? Gian. <laughs> Helma okay. Delica. Fantastic. And now we'll just open this up. This also gives up an, uh, gives us an opportunity to make our way to the right side of the city. Which is good. Since this is a uh, steel soul, uh, Tuck over here is going to be dead, first of all. And secondly, uh, he, I think, or she, perhaps, uh, will have a rancid egg, which is a source of geo, I guess. Uh, how many do I have at this moment? Two. Okay, well, that's underwhelming, but. Uh, I think there are 22 total uh, in Steel Soul, counting the one next to Tuck. Uh, and that makes 21 in normal mode. Uh, of course, not counting that you can get effectively infinite Rancid Eggs from Tuck. Uh, but other than that, there are 21 in the world. Uh, okay, that works. That worked as well. Uh, thankfully, that's not active, so it, it didn't kill me. That's always a plus. Uh, okay, this pill clip didn't get flipped, for lack of a better word, by the fireball. And I might as well go over here to the left first, since uh, often I forget to actually complete this area until much later in the game, and so. Well, first of all, uh, as a result, I don't have access to the map, which corners the cells. And secondly, uh, obviously, I wouldn't have the grub that I just rescued and the mask shard. So this is just a good opportunity to complete a bit more of the game. Kill these Flukmon halves. And uh, make our way to Cornifer, which is over here to the left. I usually take the top path because uh, there's a rancid egg and whatnot. Okay, I was hoping to be able to hit the uh, fluke fade. Yes, that's the name. Uh, fluke fade with that vengeful spirit, but clearly that didn't work. There's another bellfly up here, which hopefully 
I will be able to defeat. Alright. And there's the rancid egg that I mentioned. Down here, there's a bit more stuff, but I'll get it on the way back. Oops. Got a bit too close for comfort. Uh, that was kind of weird, uh, tick of damage. That horn got dangerously close to me. Only takes three hits with the nail, which is pretty good. However, uh, kind of unfortunate that a shaman stone vengeful spirit doesn't kill one. Um, yeah, that should open access to the lever. Could actually hit it through the floor like I just did uh, prior to completing the combat room, but that's fine. Ho oh, ho, aren't these waterways thrilling? A labyrinth of pipes and tunnels. I couldn't have asked for a better place to employ my talents. It's all so orderly, so considered. Nothing like the crude irregularity of those caverns. Ah, uh, but so sad. My trunk is telling me those fungal wastes are close, and I sense my damp adventure may have reached its end. Guess I'll be calling this map done. 75, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'd wager these pipes and chambers were once used to carry the city's waste. Would have been a horrid stench down here. Thankfully, that constant rain has flushed them clean. <laughs> and that's all the dialogue. Now let's go back and get the mask shard and the geo node. Okay. There are some fluke flays. Fluke phase, fluke phase down here. Well, that was very sad. Uh, I don't think I'm at three, four, three out of four. So, yeah. In fact, I was at none. Okay. But yeah, um, filling up a mask resets your HP. So, just in case you're aware of that, uh, you can just refrain from healing and. Just wait until you get uh, an HP upgrade to automatically heal you, but that's uh, very much an edge case scenario. Since not often you find yourself at 3 out of 4 mask shards and uh, need to heal. Oh, that's quite close. Anyway, getting a lot of rancid eggs, so it's probably a good idea to visit Steel Soul Jin. But now we'll just descend down into the depths. Save. Um, yeah, Mug Pride is still probably a fairly good decision here since these enemies are a bit uh, quick moving. There we go. Okay, three hits. And two for each on a body part. Oops, they were like a. Uh, Bell fly there that I forgot about. Fantastic. There should be one more. Yeah. One more half. Wake up, please. There we go. 3,300. That's pretty significant. Fantastic. Okay, they don't drop Geo. Lure this guy. Murder everybody. Oh, okay. successfully there. I uh, don't need any soul yet. But we will now. Thankfully, I can get uh, these little nubs. Thank you for doing that. For additional soul. Quite a uh, convenient proposition or design choice. Might as well just lure this guy over here and skip past him. Uh, he will still be there after I come back, but I don't know. I'm just a bit tired of killing Flukemons, so. Alright. Uh, didn't quite get the dive there. There we go, second try. Fantastic. Uh, we'll need to deal with these Fluke Phase. Very terribly, in fact. And there we go, Fluke Nest, uh, which is fantastic, absolutely amazing. And there are a bunch of these. Uh, thank you for that little uh, swimming glitch there. 
fun to the little guy, the little fluke, fluke niblets, I don't know, uh, for replenishing my soul. There we go. Well above 3300 geo now. Hopefully I don't fall down, alright. And now we're done with that, let's go fight the Dung Defender. Should be a good plan. And for Dung Defender, obviously a fluke nest. And with that one notch, I don't know, just put on thorns. I don't know, man. Got another ranted egg. Fantastic. Now, as promised, we'll make our way to the dumb defender. Oopsie daisy. Was planning on casting Fluke Nest, but that didn't work. Got a bit too close for that. Uh, oopsie daisy. Dashed right into the pill flip. Quite an unwise decision. A decision. I'm having some trouble pronouncing that word. Here we go. Dumb defender. Fantastic. Cries of joy or cries of battle? We may never know. Okay. Uh, now we'll enter his abode. There we go. Oh, Missed that fruit nest a little bit. Okay. Ah, uh, that uh, hitbox is quite large. Ouch. This is kind of unfortunate. Okay, well, I got quite close. Might as well heal, even though that's forfeiting some soul. more damage than I would have liked there, but thankfully I had some chances to heal, so that was alright. And we'll get the Defender's Crest. Hmm, well, <clears throat> unfortunately I don't have a Crystal Heart, so I can't get Yzma's Tear. Well, technically I can, but wouldn't be that fun, first of all, to do so at this juncture. Ooh, Ancient Basin. I don't know about that. I'm going to... Hmm... You know what? Why not? I'm not going to, uh... Fight many bosses, but... Getting the Pale Ore will be quite handy, so... Guess we'll go over here and do that. Kill these guys for soul. Uh, I was hoping for a chance to heal, but I accidentally aggroed this uh, lance sentry along the way. Try to skip past it without getting hurt too badly. And then heal up. Get this, I don't know, 30 geo or something. Boy, howdy. This guy followed me all the way up here. Okay. Right. And so uh, here, again, I'm saving uh, cloth, so I won't be clearing out all the enemies in this little combat area, but we'll clear the ones necessary to get the Pale Ore, which is basically just all the Moleks on, I don't know, the regular route. Hopefully, I retain enough soul to dive at the end there to save the grub. Ouch. Ouch again. Okay, well that was moderate su moderately successful. Uh, pale ore, fantastic. And that should be enough for the second nail upgrade. 
which again will make the dream warriors a bit stronger but obviously it will, will make every other enemy and boss easier so that is a pretty good trade-off and i'll probably upgrade my nail uh, upon returning to this city hopefully this doesn't go too badly Timing's basically just uh, hitting the Molek twice and then retreating. Or once if you miss the first one. Fantastic. There's the grub. Uh, and I will not go any deeper into uh, the ancient basin since it's a bit risky to do so at this point. Uh, not really strong enough to do anything of use, I might be able to uh, defeat the broken vessel and get uh, monarch wings, but I don't know, it doesn't seem that great. Obviously, we'll open up the mobility options significantly. Oh, there is a, um, a wanderer's journal down there. However, I don't have the crystal heart, and so, I mean, it's still possible to get that relic, but... Ah, right, there's nothing up here. Uh, but it is a lot harder without Super Dash. Might as well get the Geo, even though that is kind of inefficient since the Geo nodes do coincide with uh, essence locations from the Whispering Root, so I could probably be doing this while also collecting essence, and that would save a bit of time, but... I don't know. Uh, the earlier you get the Geo, the better it is, since you gain a lot more value uh, when you get it while you actually need Geo. Instead of, you know, getting it later, after you've already bought everything there is to buy. And here we are on the other side of the city. So I'm going to, uh, I guess I'll pogo up and, like, open the shortcut but I need to keep in mind that I have to open the uh, doorway to the uh, Hollow Knight statue and whatnot because otherwise it's going to be kind of inconvenient to uh, do anything of use alright well that was extremely terrible I was hoping to at least cling on the wall and uh, be able to get to the bench but the Lance Sentry obviously had other plans for me. Okay. Might as well fight the Great Husk Sentry now, rather than later, so I can actually access the Watcher Knights. Uh, hopefully, I do not die. Okay, well that was fantastic open the lever you can't actually uh, hit like the other lever in this room uh, without you know, actually defeating the great husk sentry and that's used to great effect in NMG speedrun however uh, I just decided against that I don't know it's an extremely valid uh, choice but uh, I just didn't do it um, up here, there's another grub to save. Uh, I'm not going to fight the Watcher Knights. Really not a smart idea. Uh, first of all, I don't even have the Dream Nail, so I can't even defeat the other one. Ah, uh, I don't have enough soul for a third spell cast. Ouch. Okay, well that was not altogether bad. And there should be enemies left down here to give me soul to heal. Heal? Uh, great pronunciation there. Um, yeah. Hopefully I can just sneak past the Great Husk Sentry. Okay. Just open this up and uh, go back immediately to open up the other gate to the door get some more soul 
That guy ran away a bit too quickly for me to get enough to heal, but there is a bench down here, so I guess that works. So yeah, kind of strange seeing this cleared of all enemies. I don't know. Five rancid eggs, that's pretty good. I think that's enough of an incentive to like buy the simple key from Sly and open up that door in uh, Dirt Myth since five rancid eggs should give enough geo uh, to compensate for the 950 I'd spend uh, on the simple key. So it should be a profit all in all and also give future access to Steel Soul Jin. But right now I'm just going around in the city, so... Did I ever see this cutscene? No, okay. Let's watch it. Alright. Again we meet, little ghost. I'm normally quite perceptive. You I underestimated, though I've since guessed the truth. You've seen beyond this kingdom's bounds. Yours is resilience, born of two voids. It's no surprise, then, you've managed to reach the heart of this world. In so doing, you shall know the sacrifice that keeps it standing. If knowing that truth, you'd still attempt a role in Holness's perpetuation. Seek the grave in ash and mark it, and the mark it would grant to one like you. Alright, well, that's going to be later, because I don't really feel like fighting Hornet 2 at the moment, and also I don't have double jump. It's not completely necessary, but uh, it does help, and also, I don't know if you can actually Helmet get up Delica. to Hornet 2. Uh, oh, right, I don't have any relics. Oops, okay. So anyway, just going to go get the second nail upgrade here, since I did get the Pale Ore. That was quite a ooh, tight pogo. That was an even tighter pogo. Obviously, it didn't even work, but... Um, anyway. Here we go, back to the nail smith. Again, I'm gonna have to take this uh, trek about the platforms, since I don't have crystal heart. Getting kind of uh, annoying due to lack of crystal heart, so I should probably uh, go to Crystal Peak at this point. Maybe that's a good idea. Uh, and also, Nail 2 probably is way too powerful for Crystal Peak. Ah, hmm, run, oh, you returned. Stenia. I see you have some pale ore. A rare, fine metal that. Give me the ore and some geo for my efforts, and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. Yes. Agreed. Thank you. Jonesha. As you wish, I'll get to work then. Okay. Garadel there we go, the reforging is complete. I've added a channel to your nail. It should cut much more efficiently. You'll find it stronger than it used to be. Head out there and test its blade against your foes. Will do, Nailsmith. Don't need to go back this way. Uh, I think this is... Oh, it's still two-shotting um, the husks. Husk bully, rather. But they all pretty much have the same health. Uh, excuse me? Was that three hits? Counting the, uh, thorns. Kinda weird. Why is it still taking the same number of hits? Okay. Do do. what's the fastest way back? Uh, I guess... Well, first of all, open King Station would be a good idea. Yeah, it three hits. Okay. I think it took, like... Never mind. It probably took, like, five before. Three hits was for the sentries, which have less health than the, uh, rather the winged and lance sentries, not the husk sentry. Okay, you know what? There's too many enemy enemies called sentries. We need to really, like, reduce, reduce the uh, enemy count. Okay, so I'm just going to go open King Station. Ooh, uh, actually, could get the second out of three vessel fragments I need from that. Combat room above King Station. However, 
I don't know. It might be a bit risky. I don't. I don't know. Let's just do it. Why not? Okay. Just uh, scraping by these great husk sentries. There is some stuff to do in that big room, like the grub and the gorgeous husk. So I'll do that later. Get even more geo. Uh, one of them fell down here. Alright. 3304. We'll get the hollowness seal up here. Hopefully I don't die to the spikes. Which almost always happens. Okay, well that was good. Usually not as cautious with these uh, spikes. Oh, forgot to open this up. Okay, so for the... Uh, Vessel fragment, I'm going to take off fluke nest since... The normal fireball is useful for like double hits. Soul catcher. Thorns again, I guess. Really kind of annoying that I don't have one more charm notch. Okay, and then we'll just get that fragment. Ooh, this guy is still alive. Skip past that guy there, the Wanderer's Journal, which I will get, I guess. Get everyone to spawn and kill two of them. Wanderer's Journal, fantastic. Uh, that's like 650 Geo racked up at this point. Uh, there's something up here that's like... Fantastic. Oh, that guy didn't die. Okay. Winged Sentry is still aggro. Somehow. Takes two hits now, which is great. That uh, gluttonous husk isn't really doing anything up there. Alright, there we go. This is gonna be kind of bad. Oh my god. Not a good sign uh, to take damage there. Hopefully. Nope, I was trying to get a double hit on that Lance Sentry. Okay, this is a lot better than I expected it to be. Should be one more. Just hopefully he doesn't charge. Okay, that was obviously a bad decision. Those three uh, winged sentries are all lined up on the ground there. Kind of interesting. Uh, right here. Or rather, four, actually. There's one right there, hidden behind the others. Okay. Just need to buy, like, one from Sly or something. Uh, I can get to the Dream Nail, I think. Yeah. Kind of bad, uh, since I would rather, like, go to Crystal Peak to get this, but that's alright. Ah, uh, yeah, it's already past 40 minutes, um, but I mean, resting ground bench is pretty close. Although it is getting a bit long for a recording session. I mean, seeing as we already like overshot the uh, time estimate, might as well just clear out resting grounds. To protect the vessel, the dreamers lay sleeping. Monmon the teacher in her archive, surrounded by fog and mist. Lurian the watcher in his spire, looking over the city. Hera, the beast, in her den, amidst the deep darkness beyond the kingdom. Through their devotion, Hollow Nest lasts eternal. Alright. Go no further, little shadow. What compels its climb out of the darkness? What compels its return to this sacred kingdom? A call from beyond the seals? By the vessel or by that captive light? Would the seals break? They cannot be undone. But the vessel weakens, the plague springs anew, they must be undone. Yet still our seals remain, our duty holds, it must be cast away. Our duty holds, it shall be done. Those have been rumors, fantastic. Second, uh, encounter. Fade away, little shadow, fade away and let us sleep in peace. Okay. 
Gonna wait for that uh, moth moth lady to show up. All right. Don't really know the uh, optimal platforming strategy for this area, so I'm just like doing random dashes. It's not really that good, but uh, you know what? Not speed running, so shouldn't be that important. Obviously, it would be better if I did this more efficiently, but you know what? What a terrible fate they visited upon you to cast you away into this space between body and soul. Will you accept their judgment and fade away, fade slowly away? Okay, um, here, small criticism, uh, judgment usually isn't spelled with that first E. Uh, just convention, uh, some people are, like, spelling it that way nowadays, but kind of, kind of, a uh, off-putting. Or will you take the weapon before you and cut your way out of this, this sad forgotten dream? I'll take the weapon, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Great. Dream now. Ooh, there's a little, like... You can see where, like, the letters overlap in dream. It gets a little, like, darker. Like, there are little black dots where they overlap. It's kind of strange. I don't know. This is a very small detail. Hello, uh, I'm not gonna talk to you, thank you very much. It's just gonna have the exact same dialogue even after I return with a bunch of essence. So it's fine, I'm not missing any uh, dialogue that is. So it should be good. Collecting all this essence. Oops. Uh, Dream Gate is up there, so we'll probably get that after doing all this stuff down here. Break the floor. Get the okay, so fireball and two nail hits. There's a bell fly up here. Two more nail hits. Oh god. Or just thorns. Uh, kind of dangerous that they do two damage. Makes it a bit riskier to be down here. Although with nail two, it is a bit, substantial bit easier than it would normally be, since I don't know, usually you'd be at triple peak and drop down here with like nail one or nail zero. There's a wanderer's journal. Uh, I don't know, dream dialogue. So dark. Okay. I'm probably not gonna um, dream now a whole bunch of the NPCs. So, just keep that in mind. Just barely uh, avoided falling in the, into the spikes, which was kind of bad. Not even gonna go to the Grey Mourner's house since I haven't even visited Queen's Gardens yet. Probably could have hit the Bellfly after fireballing, uh, just to have a bit more leftover soul. All my seal here. Getting a lot of relics. Well, them would be happy. Okay, and now we're just going to finish up the episode by first killing Zero. Probably the lamest dream warrior uh, of them all. And then getting uh, Dream Shield and just saving saving the game at the bench. Seems good, okay. Might as well talk, I don't know. Stop there, those who try to leave this kingdom are cursed. Better to rest here until time itself sleeps. Hope and freedom, I thought that strength alone could grant me these things. In my dreams I would cut that plague with my nails, and then I turned my weapons upon the king. When I awoke in this sacred place I began to understand. Those who hope are already doomed. Do you still hope, Wanderer? Will you flee, or will you raise your weapon and doom us both? I'll doom us both. Yes, uh, Didn't get a double hit, that's extremely disappointing. Yes, uh. Okay, so how do you double hit? Like Might even be a triple hit. Oh boy. Yes, uh. Oh, that was amazing. When he gets pushed all the way to the other side of the arena. 
Oh, that's right. just unfair. Don't have enough soul. Should be almost dead at this point. Yeah, okay, there we go. Amazing. Okay. Then we'll talk again. Ah, I can see now. Those who turn against the king are doomed as soon as they raise their weapon. Do not call me a traitor. Simply call me a fool. Hello, a fool. Okay, uh, I know you will not flee. Wherever you go, I will be watching. Um, uh, kind of creepy. Zero. Uh, maybe. Don't say that. Alright. Uh, and then, as planned, uh, dream shield and then save the game. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, how much time has this? Ooh boy, 50 minutes. Okay. You know, a bit longer than uh, the previous episodes, but... Well, that's alright. Hey. Okay, so... At 120, um, essence. What does the seer give you? Just like, uh, hollowness seal or something? Not really worth it. To be perfectly honest, so I'm just gonna not get that yet. Read the card. Alright. And that concludes the third episode of the Hollow Knight playthrough. Oop, and voice getting a little hoarse there. Uh, anyway, I've been Verulian, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, wow, okay. Anyway, uh, bye. Gonna go now. <laughs>